Greetings, the internet. This is Ninark, and welcome back to my platformer tutorial series. I know I've been gone for a while, but, um, you know, life happens. I have a bunch of excuses, but it doesn't really matter. Let's actually get right into it. So today we're going to be doing wall jumping, uh, you know, our classic Super Meat Boy back and forth wall jump thing. I'm just moving this stuff around so we can see what's going on. So I'm going to mess with these a little bit. Let's put this over here. Stretch this out. Um, hold down control, you can copy and make another one. And do one over here. You can make this one shorter so you can get to it, I guess. Uh, yeah. That should be fine. Okay, there's a couple things we gotta do before we get this going. So double click on your player, go to animations. We're gonna add a new animation and we're gonna call it wall slide, I guess, or just wall. Just make it wall for time's sake. Um, and then we're going to right click import frames from files. So remember we're using my uh, Animations that are on my itch if you don't want to pay me a dollar You can make them yourself or just make yourself a square. It doesn't really matter um, But we want to go down to this one uh, Plain wall ride gif and then right click on here Make sure you delete the first animation frame um, and then go over here and we want to make it loop to yes and yeah, so one more thing we have to do, uh, go to one of your other animations, like the idle animation, and zoom in. And uh, you, you may not be able to tell, but this length from the right side of this uh, hitbox to the right side of the bounding box is actually smaller than this side. So we want to even them out because it kind of messes up the sprite when it flips and you're, and you're on the wall. So uh, click on this top right one. We're just going to move it back one pixel. So change it to 20 instead of 21. Same thing with this one, change it to 20 instead of 20. Whoa, that's not what I wanted. All right, uh, yeah. And then right click and apply to all animations. Super important uh, so that just check your wall, make sure that it's all there and everything looks fine. Uh, it's important, you know, for reasons. Um, and then I think that's all we need to do for here. Oh yeah, go over to your uh, behaviors under platform and change the acceleration to like 500. I don't know what, uh, I might have told you to just pick random numbers. Um, 500 seems to be okay for what we're doing. If And then uh, yeah, you can go ahead and mess with them if you want. Right, so let's get into the event sheet and start programming. So you can collapse all these things. Um, we want to go to movement. Um, select the whole movement thing and then press E. Or sorry, actually I didn't do that. Click on the two players right here at the very bottom of the movement and press E. And we want to go to player. And we want to check to see if he's not on the floor. So if he's so if he's jumping or falling. Now you can do jumping and falling or jumping or, or not jumping and falling. That won't work. Jumping or falling will work. Um, but it's easier to just click on is on floor, and then you just want to press I, and it inverts. Uh, so this is actually saying the player is not on the floor. Uh, so yeah. So let's create a sub event here, and we want to go to player, click on player again, and go down to platform and go is by wall, and this will just check if you are like by a wall on the right or the left side. So uh, if you double click this, let's use the right for right now so I can show you some things the way I have that set up. Um, you can do either one in as long as you make sure that you're following my directions. So slide to the right, or slide to the right, and we wanna do a couple things. We want to make sure that he, when he clings to the wall, he clings and kind of falls a little bit slower than if he was actually falling. So the way we do that, um, if you want to get fancy, you can make a global variable and do some stuff, um, but I'm going to do this quick and dirty. So go to add action, go to player, and then change maximum fall speed to uh, 50, I think is good. So we want to do that. We want to add an action, go to player, and we want to set animation to wall. And then we want to do one more thing, go to player, and set our... Uh, Sorry, over here, it's under appearance, to set mirrored and leave it at mirrored. Okay, so pay attention to this. If the if the player has a wall to the right, that means that he's right here. So the way our animation is set up, you'll see that he's actually on a wall, he's actually uh, on a wall to the left. So when we get on this wall, we want him to, to mirror that so that he looks like he's like actually on the wall. That's important to remember and also for what I'm about to do. So let's click on this and make another sub event. So it's going to be a sub event to this event. 
Um, don't put it underneath, that will mess it up, or it won't work. So we're going to add an, another sub-event. Go to misc, keyboard, and on key press. Now, the way that the behavior platform is already set up, since we have our default control set, up is jump, so we're, I'm going to press up for this. Now, you can change it to whatever you want. We'll go over changing, uh, you know, your controls later, but this is just to get it working. So if up arrow is pressed, we want to do a couple things. We want to shoot our player up and to the opposite side of where he is. So in this case, we're going to, when he hits this wall, we want to send him to the left and we want to send him up so he can climb up the walls. So how we do that is set vectors. So go to add action, go to player, go down to platform, and we're going to set vector x. Now, He's on, the wall is to the right of him, so we want him to send him to the left. Now, the way that uh, the uh, axis is set up, it, negative is to the left and positive is to the right. So if we do negative 500, and I think we can look at this right now, because this should work. Um, if you go and jump on the wall, when it hits you off, and it's kind of messed up right now because it doesn't do it, but it's actually pushing you straight to the left. And then we want to set vector y. Now, uh, positive numbers are down or up, and negative. Sorry, positive positive numbers are down, and negative numbers are up. Uh, so we want to set it to negative 500, not negative 200. So this is going to set our player to go left, set a force to the left at 500, and up at 500. So if we look at this right now, this should work, as you can see. But it doesn't work on the other side, and it also sets our fall speed to not uh, normal. So we'll fix that in a second. Cool. So go over to our event sheet, click on this, make sure you have all this selected. Control C and then Control V. And we want this to be if the side is on the left. Um, and we want to set this to not mirrored because if the wall is to the left, that's how our animation is set up, remember? So this looks like he, the wall is to the left. Um, we want to set our uh, X vector to positive 500 because that will shoot him to the right. So. Negative is left, positive is right in the X, and negative is up, and positive is down in the Y. So this should work in theory, uh, other than changing our fall speed to wrong. It actually, as you can see, he kind of grabs onto the wall, and you can jump off it just like you would. So how do we make it so that, um, you know, he has a regular fall speed? We're going to right click and add a new event below. We're going to go to player and we're going to go to uh, is on, or sorry, is by wall left. And we want to add another condition here is by wall right. And we want to invert both of these. So make sure they're both in the same block. Invert this one. Oops, sorry, I keep doing that. Invert with I and invert with I here. So this is saying if he, if there's not a wall to the right and there's not a wall to the left, then we want to set our max fall speed. So you can just copy this from up here. Paste it in here. And set it back to 800, I think is what we have. Uh, yeah, max fall speed 800. So yeah, this is why you should use variables so you can just change them in here and not worry about changing the code. Um, but we'll go into that later. Uh, I just want to make sure this works. And I think, I think, I think it does. So if you jump a regular fall speed, it's kind of fast. There you go, he jumps on there and then he falls at a regular speed. So there you go, guys. We have a wall jumping mechanic. Um, it's not quite Super Meat Boy. You, but you can adjust the numbers so you can get a little higher. I think we can make it up here, but um, yeah. So there we go. Uh, we did it, and I'm very proud of you all, especially me, because I haven't made a tutorial in a while, so I'm really sorry if this is not quite as professional and straightforward as I usually am. I'm just a little tired. Just got back from Seattle. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys had a good time, and I'll see you in the next video where we do something cool. All right, later.